Hi, I'm Tom Triplett. Thank you for joining me today at the Fire Mountain Gems Jewelry Making Studio. I'm going to show you how to make a, a surgeon's knot today using power cord. Now, we have very, a very large selection of power cord in different colors and different sizes. Um, you can also make surgeon's knots with uh, floss cord and actually any other kind of cord or threads that you may be doing your project with. Uh, the project I'm doing today is actually going to be done with power cord. And what I've done here is I've cut off a piece of power cord to show you how you need to condition a power cord before you actually use it. Um, just cut off a length of power cord to the size that you're gonna need for your project. And then go ahead and give it a couple good stretches. Power cord is very strong, so it's not gonna break. All right, once you've done that um, and it snaps back into shape, it should be ready to, to start using. So I've got a project done here where it's all beaded. I'm gonna take off my bead stoppers and start to make my knot. Now for demonstration purposes, we put out a knot already made here on my pad. Um, what you do is you start with a half knot and then making the half knot, you twist it around one more time. All right, then once you've done that, go ahead and tighten that part of the knot. Then you're gonna take it and make a half knot again. That would be this top part of the knot that's showing here on the demonstration piece. All right, then go ahead and tighten that really as tight as you can. Now this power cord is very, very strong, so it's not gonna break if you pull it too hard. All right, and as you can see, it'll come, it has a tendency to come apart sometimes. So what I'm gonna do is take a drop of glue. E6000 is a very good glue to use on power cord, but the nice thing about it is it's flexible, and that's really important on power cord. So just go ahead and put a drop of glue on the knot when you've got the glue on there. You'll wanna set the piece aside so that it can actually cure. Um, overnight is a, a good time frame for it to cure. Then once it's dried, you can cut the ends off and then you're ready to wear your piece. Thank you very much for joining me today at the Fire Mountain Studios.